Greetings YouTube. That right there is my cat Makana. And one of the things Makana loves to do is Makana loves to move things. And his favorite thing to move is the bowls. You'll note that they're in a tray. They're in a tray in an attempt to keep him from spilling water everywhere. This often fails because not only is he strong enough to move the bowls themselves, he's strong enough to move the entire tray around whatever he wants to. Not to mention it makes a lot of noise. It's really annoying, particularly when you're trying to sleep. So, I have a plan for solving this problem. So, my goal here is to use this steel pan as the holder for the dishes. Now, initially, the stage one is to secure this pan to the wall with this metal strap. I'm going to make two brackets that I'm going to screw to the wall that are going to hold the pan in place but still allow us to remove the pan for cleaning. And if this does not do the job in and of itself, I'm thinking of going to a second stage of security, which would be magnetic cat bowls that will attach to the steel pan, which is why I have a steel pan. Um, so the next stage is to cut that strip into the lengths I need it cut. Okay, folks, here we have the two brackets. Both of these are now drilled and cut. The ends have been rounded. That's been rounded. That's going to be the end that shows. This end is going to be the one that's actually going to be in the pan. And I plan on covering it with some rubber. So I didn't really have to get this all be all that fancy. Just have no sharp corners and such on it. That's the, going to be the end that's going to show up. Um, so now it is to, um, time to bend. That's going to be uh, the, the less than fun part. Because while this you know, is relatively soft, it was relatively easy to drill these. It's, you know, it's like an eighth of an inch thick. Let's see how that goes. Alrighty, so I am back again, and now we have brackets that are bent at right angles. I used this vise held in this position, my engineering hammer, and this piece of scrap metal, which allowed me to uh, make that tight turn, because there's no way I was going to get a hammer in there, that, that space is only about an inch wide. So I put the, the bar against that corner right there, and just kept hammering it very gently until I finally got to the point where it was at a right angle. This is a relatively, like I said, relatively soft metal, so I was able to do that. And uh, kind of made me smile because that piece of scrap metal right here was from an old company I used to work at. And I thought, didn't know if I'd ever come and, come and find a use for it. Well, lo and behold, I have a use for it. So next up is to put some padding on that tip. So here we have the bracket with a rubber pad on the bottom and now it's going to be go time to mount it on the wall. And here we have the final modification. So we're gonna see if the cat can make a mess like this. If he can, then I have to find some way of attaching the food bowls to the steel tray as opposed to just letting him sit in there. I could also potentially pad the two outs the, out, the outer edges so that they don't clink together. We'll see how that works. But this is my first stage attempt at thwarting my cat. <laughs> 